in one of those moods, okay? I have no brain power left <laughs> for anything. So instead of making any decisions in my life, I'm gonna use a random generator. And why not do it to create a character and see what happens? Hopefully there's a random generator for every little thing that I need. But I guess we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna jump in my sketchbook. <laughs> what was that noise? And we're gonna see what happens. Let's go. I thought what we could do first, cause I like to do like three marker challenges where I take inspiration from three random colors to create a character. So I feel like if we start with color, it'll kind of give me a better visual idea of where we're headed the quickest, you know? So I'm gonna grab a pencil. Cause I'm sure there's a random color generator out there. Oh yeah, see look, I have found one already. Okay, so how about we start with hair color? Boop. Ooh, I don't like the sensor that. <laughs> it's yellow though. Boop. All right, we need a skin tone. Please be nice to me. Please be nice to me. Gray. All right, what's another thing? How about favorite color? We'll do favorite color, then we'll do like main outfit color. All right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> I probably actually have a color called vermilion. Let me look. I guess I don't, I swear I did. Oh wait, I do, look. This is called vermilion. Ew. <laughs> I feel like everyone has like a vibe that they kind of just resonate with. This is not mine. Anyway, let's do favorite color. That doesn't look like olive green. That looks like black. <laughs> wow. We've... Okay, we need eye color. Uh-huh. That looks the same as their main color. I don't know what else we're gonna need. We can always come back if something tells us we need to make a hat or an accessory of some kind. I didn't think this through because I told you I didn't really feel like thinking today. So I'm just gonna ask Google if this character is a boy or a girl. Oh, I got an idea. Random number generator. And then we're gonna make it one to two. One is boy, two is girl. Okay. I'm not saying girls are second best. I just had to assign a number. <laughs> It's a boy! We're so thrilled! Let's say random hobby generator. Mm-hmm. Do you have to scroll? Taxidermy! I don't- Ooh. <laughs> ooh, I got an idea. Why don't we look up like, um, like an aesthetic for him? Actually, wait, ra like random stereotype maybe? Oh no, I have to take a quiz? No, this requires me thinking. I want it. No, 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 no. Random teen generator. Yeah, let's see. Outgoing 15 year old girl has gray eyes and olive complexion. Curly auburn hair is pinned neatly back. She is short, somewhat thin, and wears a lot of black. She enjoys playing video games and is a horrible dancer. Well, I'm realizing I did this the wrong way. I could have just done this. Look, it would all happened in one button. Okay, so we need the person's name. So I'm gonna do random boy name generator. Quick name generator, please. Rock me some names. Jalen Clay. Okay. All right. Why don't we start? Oh, I need to know what outfit though. Men's department. Generate. Dude. Dress better than I do. <coughs> He's wearing a winter coat and shorts. Let's just start with a man shaped blob here. And we'll figure it out from there. What else we need? Uh huh. Blob. It's got a funky square bag. I assume it's kind of a cross body thing. This part kind of jets out a little. And there's a zipper there, and then there's a zipper up here too. I like to draw dudes with like a thicker neck than I would normally draw. I just find it kind of helps me differentiate them a little, not make them look too similar. Okay, so this shirt has double pockets. Just draw through that, I guess. Should I go with kind of oversized? I have a feeling this kid, just from what I know about Jalen, I have a feeling he tucks it in to his pants. Don't hate me. I just think he does. Do these shorts? Yes, they have belt loops. Okay. They're like kind of fancy pants for shorts. Fancy man shorts. Not too much seams. The pockets kind of are sticking out a little. Did you, okay, and this is all plaid. Don't you forget it. I feel like these generators are playing a joke on me, but also I feel like I'm playing a joke on myself because I don't know why I expected something better. Actually, as quickly as this seems to be going. For some reason I thought I'm gonna have to draw a bunch of things, but like it gives me all the information. So we might be able to do more than one, which kind of makes me happy because I, this guy's interesting. You know what I mean? Okay, these are confusing boots to draw, but we'll try our best. They have like a fabric-y, stretchy bit between there. Oh, you can click on each of the items and get a better look. Wow. And buy them. Wow. Okay, my shoes ended up really big. <laughs> wow, goes with the outfit. Not at all. You look good. Does it? All right, there we go. Where do I include the taxidermy? It's kind of, a, it's not really a hobby you wear out, you know? Oh, I forgot this is a camel crossbody bag. How do you draw a camel? I don't know. I'm gonna Google what a taxidermist looks like. 
Ooh, I hate it. Ew, I hate it. I did that Googled the wrong thing. I'm just making the decision. I don't wanna. I could give him a new hobby. He's a cheese maker. That's much more, I mean, attractive to me specifically. I love cheese. Just put an arm down here. Hold that sleeve too. On the backpack. Looks good. All right, we need a haircut. All right, the slick back modern undercut hairstyle. Slick back. Seeing a little bit of coming up in the back and then along the sides a little bit. It's nice eyebrows. Beautiful, beautiful. And he turned out kind of to be a decent looking dude. Once you get past the taxidermy cheese making, give him a little smile, make him a little more approachable. Let's find out if he's single. <laughs> oh, he's got a girlfriend named Pamela Wheeler. And she's uh, five out of 10 attracted to him. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's figure out the colors. Could color his face like he is made out of metal. Guess we kind of got it, don't we? Why am I doing this? I'm having regrets, people. So are my light source is on this side. So we're gonna have a, like a little edge of white. You have a reflection and then you kind of fill it in. Not much would be lit up here because there's the lights behind here and there's a collar. So I'm thinking I can just I'd do one of these. This is the shy that won't get like any light, right? And then I think that'll do. Uh, that'll do. I don't know if I need like a little more. Maybe come around this way with it. That'll do. It looks very shiny. He's a very metal man. And then the yellow from the hair. It's just gonna look like a bunch of noodles laying on top of his head. <laughs> look at this man. Look at him. Did I pick like another? Like it's bleached on the top, so it'd be like darker near the bottom. I feel like I'm about to do that, right? Although he's a robot. So I don't know what that means for him. Maybe something a little less saturated. I could go over that brown now with the skin tone, actually. Tone it down. Ta-da! I'm doing my best. I think we're gonna need more colors for the outfit, but the main color needs to be this red stuff. And then I think I'm allowed to do whatever I want with the rest. I, if you don't really feel like making a decision, let other people make decisions for you and you're gonna start wanting to make decisions again. <laughs> hey, I'm curing myself. I'm basically a doctor. So we'll start with this and then we'll add other things after that. His eyes are supposed to be this color, which just makes him look evil. Beautiful. Cyborg. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint the paint. <laughs> Color the shorts and the boots red and then use some of the plaid stuff red. And obviously we can have some accent colors on these boots. Wow, these are loud. Uh, what was I expecting? <laughs> use that eye color here. Then we can use the skin tone maybe. Add some textures just to give it something. We're also, and I'm gonna put line art on it too, which will give it a little bit more like texture for the boot. And then I was gonna use that for the shorts as well. Make the belt green. Christmas. Could incorporate some more of the yellow. I might grab a lighter yellow though. A little less vibrant. <laughs> I just really want to tone down the shirt. Oops, I've done it. I'm coloring it in yellow. Please be a good idea. Please be a good idea. And then we can use like these two reds for the plaid. Actually, I might have a lighter sort of pink for the main stripes. And then I'll color in the squares. Oh, that's gingham actually, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Looks like a fast food restaurant of some kind. It's definitely bleeding outwards. Should have probably waited for everything to be dry. Um, now this backpack, it was black. I think I want to do it in this green for this camo. We'll start with this, this really light gray. Build up the camo. Um, maybe another green. Something not too saturated though. Maybe this will be a good place to start. Just draw little blobs, but not too many blobs because we're gonna have more colors. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out. Maybe just fill it in with this. I'll also just go over it with this. I'm gonna go over some of these with some of the yellow. Bring the yellow in here. Maybe over the gray. Perfect. Actually, I really like that. That was perfect. All right, here we have our metal man. Should I grab like a light gray for the shiny bits? Next, it just needs a little, little line art. So I'm gonna quickly do that and we'll see what it looks like. Maybe a little seam at the bottom there. I left a lot of white on the edge to be like reflective, you know. I had to remember that when I was adding in the line art because it got a little confusing. 
All right. I think we need color in the belt buckle. It looks a little too blaringly white. But other than that, there we have Jalen Clay. <laughs> well, if anything, this definitely helped me draw something that I wouldn't normally. I think we should do it again. I'm trying to think, did I learn anything that could help me uh, do this better this time around though? Let's do that high school generator. Let's see how that goes for us. Oh, the random teen generator, that was it. So it's gonna give us basically all the information. I think it'll be a little less random. Let's just see what happens. This melancholy 17 year old girl has brown eyes and olive complexion and wavy brown hair in a mid-length braid. She is tall, a bit pudgy, and can't be bothered with fashion. She is really picky eater and is studying to be a veterinarian. So what visuals do we have here? Tall. Doesn't say their name. She's 17. Brown eyes. Olive skin. I'm sure they don't mean that color. Kind of tall. Let's draw the head a little smaller so that we have more room for length. Kind of pudgy. What exactly is kind of pudgy? Oh no, bit pudgy. Bit pudgy. Mid-length braid. What's mid-length? Like midway down your belly? <laughs> Wavy hair with a braid. Give her some hips, why not? She's a very picky eater and can't be bothered with fashion. Boring fashion. That looks like everything we need from there. Let's get her name. Erica Wallace. There you go. Random outfit generator. So let's uh, randomly generate, shall we? This might work. It's kind of a slouchy shirt, slouchy pants. The purse is kind of interesting, but I feel like you could get it at the thrift store or maybe it was a gift from her grandma since maybe she doesn't shop for herself. I don't know, but these are kind of cool pants. Yeah, they're like kind of slouchy. I like it. It's an elastic waistband. I feel like that's perfect for Erica and they're kind of wide legged. Okay, and then the top, kind of got a wide neck. I'm gonna give her a cat. Maybe she can hold it. <laughs> Act like I know how to draw cats without a reference. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, let's go back to the outfit here. Oh, she's wearing sandals. I feel like this is the perfect outfit. Except they said white. I don't see a picture of the white one. We'll figure it out. There's like a voice that goes across the top, connects there, and then there'd be toesies. Very flat sole. Let's try it on this side. And then there'd be toesies. Both sides, I drew the inside of the foot so you don't actually see that strap, which is tricky, but hopefully I can get that to look right. All right, Erica, do we need anything else? There's the purse, but I think I'm gonna just skip the purse because uh, she doesn't care about fashion, so she probably just puts everything in her pockets, you know? Should we stick with these colors? I think so. That way we can use this. I'm gonna need something a little lighter. We'll start with this. Before the pants. We can just layer it a lot and it'll get darker that way. That's starting with something that's too dark. We also need that olive complexion. So I'm guessing that's like a cooler skin tone. Uh, does this look kind of like a cool brown? I guess I don't know what olive I mean. Let's just finish drawing this cat so that we can uh, do everything else. Little head and then the ears kind of go forward a bit more than I was drawing them originally. Okay. Now she has wavy brown hair. I think it's something darker than what I want to use as the skin tone. Yeah, like this. Oh, brown eyes too, so probably can use this. Now the socks are supposed, or the sandals are supposed to be white, but the top is black with a little white stripe on it. So let's hope we don't accidentally draw over that. Made it a little more obvious that I forget. I think I will use this for the skin. It, I just really like it. It's called hazelnut. I feel like it looks kind of greenish. Well, it's actually really similar to the pants color. <laughs> Oops. I'll let it dry a smidge. It might change. Oh, and this face, I guess, needs to be colored in. Hopefully the eyebrows are all dry so we don't have to worry about them blending out too bad. Oh, she's cute. I like her. Okay. The bit pudgy does not show through at all. Maybe because I blocked it out with a cat. Or maybe I didn't try hard enough. I don't know. Nothing I can do about that now. I wonder if I could use that brown I originally grabbed as black. Leave that little white spot. Don't color over any cat. I'm gonna try and add a little blush with this color right here. Oh, that is too dark. No! Where's hazelnut? Just use this. And she's not into fashion, she probably also doesn't really put on makeup, I guess, things. So we're gonna leave that a little bland. Let's add some line art. And little toesies. Just like, ugh. I have some regrets, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Just add the tail and call it quits. There you go. Leave some of this 
pink over the white areas. That's a pretty good outfit for a random generator. I mean, this was an outfit randomly generated too, but the colors were different. This time I actually used the colors and it turned out way better. Blush, maybe some lips. I like that one a lot. Let's do the same thing and see if it turns out as well. Let's do a random name. Actually, we gotta do the random teenager generator first because that gave us the gender and everything. So let's start there. Okay, here we go. Boop. Oh, it's a girl. This rebellious 17 year old girl has hazel eyes, a fair complexion, straight dark brown hair pinned neatly back. She is very short of average weight and dresses quite conservatively. She has a speech impediment and wants to be a scientist. Seems like a stereotype, but let's see here. Hazel eyes, short. Fair skin, brown hair, conservatively. I mean, this would have suited that too. But I feel like when I think dressing conservatively, I think of like almost like slightly more fashionable than everyone else. Like I feel like it's like dressed like one notch above everybody else, but also covering more skin than anyone else. Is that right? Like it's just kind of out of place sometimes. I think I'm thinking of more extreme conservatively dressed. I don't know. We'll see. Scientist. She loves a science. All right, let's find her name. Leia Hodges. All right, what else do we need? Oh, the outfit. All right, so we're still on that one. Let's see. I'm gonna hit it till it feels right for this character. I feel like this actually works. Oh, those shoes are not very conservative. They're a bit loud. I feel like conservative is more simple. I'm gonna screenshot that and then we'll try again and see if, if it's more or less conservative. And then we'll go back to that one. Actually, something about that feels right too. But the white pants are kind of odd. I think we'll go with the first one. I just feel like I can make that work. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the shoes, but let's start here. and put her at the same height as this guy. I'm not a big fan of this outfit. It's very loosey-goosey, which I feel like fit the bill. And then there's the high-waisted skirt in here somewhere with a funky hem. Thin, straight, I don't remember if it said long hair or not, but it's pinned neatly. How would you think that would look? Maybe like this and then pin straight. She wants to be a scientist, so I'm gonna give her a bunch of books. She's obviously gotta read a lot, I'm thinking. It's a bit in a weird spot. Wait, 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 wait. We put the hand down here. A couple books. This is such a like loose top, but it goes like just past the waist. So it's actually down to here. And then she's got those boots. She's gotta have something fun, right? I hate this skirt. Ugh. What's wrong with a straight hem, people? I do like the, like, it's pleated, like super pleated, but I hate this. Something looks odd about the anatomy of the legs. Maybe because I just didn't actually draw in the legs. Might help. It also could be that weird hem is just making everything look weird. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Going straight across. <laughs> Uh, see, doesn't that just look so much more put together unless I got to hang my clothes? Or the dryer ate my clothes? I don't know. How do I make that look like it did in the picture though? I think I just need to kind of lightly erase the whole top. I need to look back at the picture. Oh, it's got pockets. It is way more cardigan-y. There we go. All right, so we need lots of black. Her hair's brown. All right, let's start with that hair because I think I want to use this because it says dark brown. Maybe just layer this twice because then I can work with it. Especially since her outfit is black, I don't want it to blend in. Now I'm not going to color in her eyebrows before the skin because the skin is going to be a much lighter color and if it bleeds, it's going to look bad. So we'll add those in after the skin has a good amount of time to dry. And layer over again, especially back behind here where there'll be less light. Fair skin. How fair are we talking? Just pale or like pasty. So let me see how it dries. If it dries lighter, we don't want that. I think we want something about that. Actually, that's the perfect color for the boots. I'm gonna erase them first so that they're not pink. And then add this. Then you need um, a brown, not quite this. I feel like that skin tone would have been perfect. What was it, hazelnut? And then you draw little dots with this. And when that dries, go over it with the hair color. And you put a little dot in the center of each. And then you add in the stuff around it. Does this look like a animal print? It almost needs to be darker than that. I kind of messed it up. It's fine. It's fine! I think I have decided that this is her skin tone, though. So we can go over all that. Not too much skin showing. Because she's conservative! As we've established. Now everything else is pretty much black. We just use neutral six maybe for black. 
or green gray. I think that might look nice. It'll make all the rest of her look warmer if we use a cool black color, you know? Wow, you're not gonna see much. It's just gonna be one black blob. It's all the same color. We could use slightly different grays for everything, maybe? And then let's get something slightly different for the skirt. I feel like that suits it. And then I have to figure out what the shirt's color is gonna be because we don't actually... Well, I mean, I guess if we go by this picture, it's just a black shirt. Well, I kind of want to go with something more nude colored. I mean, I already changed the skirt. For someone who said they didn't want to make any decisions, I kept changing things. I'm guessing the skin's dry now. We can uh, add in the eyebrows. For the books, I think I'm going to use this pants green for one of them. just feel like it's a really good book color. Oh, we need like a page color. Maybe this yellow. Books! Now she's so pale, I could definitely add some kind of blush here. And then the shirt. I'm not sure. I do need a little pin in her hair though. Oop, that turned out really thick. I don't want to leave it white. It's a little too like Victorian. You know, I got an idea. I'm making it a striped shirt, but we'll do black. We'll keep it in the color scheme. I feel like this just makes her look a little younger without being like a really bold color either. Oops, this was very much not dry when I put my hand in it. Okay, let's add some liners. And all that's left is the face. This did not look as good as the sketch. We'll have to take it. Very happy scientist. She just looks straight. All right, we have Lee or Leah, Leia, I don't know. Erica and Jalen. I think we have room for one more. Let's see what we got. Capuch. This awkward 14 year old boy has dark brown eyes. Why are they all? No, oh, one didn't have brown eyes, did it? But it had hazel eyes. I closed them. Okay. 14 year old boy. A fair complexion, so same skin as that, I guess. Curly red hair worn loose about the shoulders. Ooh, that sounds fun already. Very tall, fairly muscular. Can't be bothered with fashion again. Has a learning disorder and is a horrible student. Oh my gosh, like I can already like, my brain already says what I want to put this kid in. <laughs> but I will follow the generators. Better be a good name. Clint Cannon, are you kidding me? That's perfect, Clint. Cannon. All right, we need the outfit. I think this works. I'm gonna change the top to a graphic tee because like we established, I'm allowed to make these decisions. Okay, so he's supposed to be very tall, which means we should probably make him taller than this girl. She's only tall. We can also make him kind of slouchy. I'm gonna put his hands in the pockets. Need all that curly hair to shoulder length. You got a torso, body, legs. Now he hates school and all that. Gonna make him a little grumpier. Oh, he's fairly muscly. So maybe widen his shoulders a little. I don't know. Obviously, he's not gonna close his jacket. I'll tell you that much. There's a hole right over this knee. There's some little stuff here. I'm gonna pull this down even lower. I don't know how wide these pants are. They don't look like skinny pants. So I guess we're going with the wider. And then he's just wearing slippers. I'm gonna actually make them slippers maybe. Do I want that? I was like gonna exaggerate it, but no, I'm not so sure. Are we give him some bangs? I think that makes sense. Alrighty. I need to look at that jacket a little closer. There's not much to it. It's a pretty bland looking jacket. Yeah, it's just a zipper down the front. There's no pockets. Oh wait, like a slit here. And that's about it. Let's raise the shoulders up a little, make them look a little bit more muscly. Sharpen this and try and draw in these squishy slippers. They're kind of squarish. We've got like a circle bit here and then that comes down. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna exaggerate this a little bit so you see it. I'll have to figure out some kind of graphic tee. We can work on the colors though for now. I think I want both of these colors for the jacket so it's a little bit shiny. We'll start with the green gray on the jacket. And then from there, we'll add in the darker areas. I don't know, it adds a little something. It's not super obvious. As for the jeans, we're gonna need some lots of blues. We'll start with the light one and go over the whole thing with the next darkest, mostly at the bottom, half below the knee, and near the uh, top region. Blend that out, add some texture. Jeans are very textury, you know? We'll go to the next darkest, go down here too. And then this I can use for shading. And then what I would do is use my white gel pen, if there's one handy, and go around like this, over the edges. 
can go on the edges. Since it's denim, it's like any kind of texture usually goes a long way and looks good. It said fair complexion, so I might as well just use the same one because it's the same description. There's, that's all the skin showing. And oh wait, the knees. Perfect. Let's go back to the jacket. Actually, what I could do is use that other to make sure it stands out. Oh, that's not even the right color. That's blue. Shoot. All right, we need a red hair. How red are we twerking? Because I could use that, or I could use this, or we could use both. So we're going to use salmon pink maybe to begin with. Because this is more of like a blonde red. The other one's more of like a slightly more auburny. I think I like that because it really stands out from the jacket, you know? I might use that terracotta though for like a little bit of shade. I actually don't love it. Well, luckily I didn't put too much of that on. Now what kind of shirt do we want? And what color were the shoes? They were like a weird gray. Like this gray. Boring shoes. But they look comfortable. It actually goes with the outfit really well. I don't know how this generator works, but nothing's like looked that bad. I don't know how it's doing it, but it's working. All right, for the shirt. So if we want to go with this, it's got to be a light blue gingham. It would probably be this. Blue gray. So this is what the generator is telling me to put for his shirt. I kind of want a graphic tee, but I also really wanted to draw that, so that's why I did that. <laughs> but I want a graphic tee. I just don't know what to say. Thinking, 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 thinking. Oh, the brown eyes. Oh, I love brown eyes. I feel like I should give him some freckles. I feel like I have a sepia, sepia liner. Kind of. They won't be quite as loud as if I used black. A little creative liberty. So I haven't decided on that shirt though. I could do line up for everything else. That seems like a plan. And that beautiful, luscious hair. Unrealistically beautiful. Pants. White looks fine, obviously. Actually, white makes sense. Maybe it's just literally an undershirt that is mommy bottom, you know? I feel like I'm taking this a little bit to the extreme, but you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've decided. I like that idea. Bad boy wearing the t-shirt. His mommy bought him for back in sixth grade. Okay, my favorites, I think, are these two. If I had to, like, order them, it'd be boop, 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 boop. But, I mean, you saw me make that. You saw me struggle and scream, literally. You know my feelings on that. So we have Jalen Clay, Erica Wallace, Lee Hodges, and Clint Cannon. Four randomly generated characters. I feel like I figured out the best way to do this by the end. And it's a lot of fun. So if you struggle with being super creative in your character design, I definitely recommend doing what we figured out a little later using those two, actually it was three random generators and then just tweak it. I recommend, very fun. This was a bit of torture, but this was fun. <laughs> I'll have links in the description to my favorite generators that I used. I'm not linking the ones I didn't like, sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Full of waffles.